Hello, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, this is to a very, very special interview. I'm so excited to speak with Mich Jessica Michelle Torner, who is one of our Soma Breath instructors all the way from Miami, but she has such an amazing transformational story using Soma Breath technique. So I wanna save it for, for Jessica to share it all. Um, and let's, let's roll right into this. So Jessica, tell me, uh, a little bit about yourself, what you're doing now, and then let's start get digging deep into this amazing story that you shared with me recently. Okay, um, I'm an occupational therapist, and I worked with kids with special needs for like 19 years, um, but I've always been a holistic healer, and so I'm a Reiki master, a yoga instructor, and a health and wellness coach, and now a Soma Breath instructor, and I'm super excited because um, I am so grateful for Soma Breath and this holistic healing that it actually helped me on my holistic journey. About in 2018, I started experiencing um, low back pain, but sciatica. I started having cramping and numbness in my foot and it was hard for me to walk, even do my job. But um, I kept going and it just pr progressively got worse. So I started seeing um, specialists. Uh, I saw at that time I had seen like three different special spine neurosurgeons and they did an MRI and they found that I had a condition called spondylolosis with spondylolisthesis and anterior lithesis. Wow. So basically what it means is um, I had um, fracture in the, the pars that hold L5. And because it was fractured, it was causing that this L5 to slip onto S1. And they told me that it, the only, it was very unstable and the only way of fixing this was through surgery. So hence why I went to get three different opinions. And I started with conservative um, treatment with physical therapy, but then I started going um, all in with um, Reiki and meditation and it, and it held up for two years, but then Back in May of 2021, I started experiencing chronic pain, back pain all the time. And it was just sciatica. Um, I was having to go to the, even to the bathroom frequently. Uh, and then I, I went to a different spine surgeon who was like the number one in Miami. And he, and they did another MRI and it showed now that I had complete fractures on both parts. And the slippage was like, every time I would move, seven millimeters. So they told me wow. that my condition is like a worsening condition that I couldn't even lose function and mobility of my, of my right side, my right leg, my foot. Wow. Um, so they told me that apparently I was born with something called bi bilateral pars defect that many people have this and they don't even know because unless they have an MRI and based on me having two pregnancies and what I do as an occupational therapy, which requires a lot of bending, flexing, lifting, that just, um, it did it for me. So it was, so they told me, oh, eventually you would have to make the decision because the only way of correcting it is, and then now, now only that, but I had no cartilage between L5 and S1 because um, of the slippage. So every time I would mm. flex, rotate, and imagine I was also doing yoga too. So, so doing all of this. What was the pain like? The pain was awful. Like it was, I would compare it to worse than, um, contractions oh, <laughs> and the from labor. labor really from labor my c-section like it that. was it was worse than that but I at that time was already in this awakening process where I was um part of mind valley and taking mindset I took Tony Robbins and that was and that UPW changed my mindset and thinking and and just like the Reiki and stuff like that but um the pain was was really was really hard and then in June um, there was a summit, my vanity had a summit and you actually did a breakout session in there. And I chose, yeah. um, your session, um, because I've always, I always knew that breathing was so important during my yoga training, but I didn't, re I really didn't get enough of that training, the breathing mm -hmm. techniques. I didn't know to how extent that went. And although I was already doing meditation for two years, I also suffered from like anxiety and overcome my depression, anxiety naturally without meds using meditation, but I couldn't quiet my mind because I had like a million thoughts going on. So when you did that session, two things happened. One, my pain was no longer because the pain was constant. 
I didn't have a break from a pain. I just tried not to focus. And, and I, and also the thoughts, it was like, I was like empty, like it was, and then mm. it lingered like the whole day. I didn't have any pain. I didn't have pain the next day. And then I Amazing. started doing your, yes, it was truly like, I was really grateful for that session that you did. And I was empowered. And I realized that you had in the Omanavana app, you had like the, all these healing, um, yeah sessions so I started doing the one that you had on the the one was healing where you're visualizing the and a color and an area in your body and then I would combine that with the Reiki that I do and it was just amazing but then um that would get me through and it got me through working I was able to work through because I was always constantly doing that and I'm like this is so great because I could actually do a meditation where I just everything quiet and I at that time I didn't even know the techniques but then on September 25th um, I woke up and I started experiencing the worst pain ever like I mean it was excruciating like I am a very strong person but like you could see like I was crying and I couldn't even lift it what was scary was that my toe I, it was hard for me to lift mm -hmm. and I was just having um, sciatica and numbness and and I remember that um, the spine doctor told me, oh, when you can no longer, and my PT told me, when you can no longer lift your, your foot, that's already nerve damage and oh, it's gosh. an emergency. And, and I noticed too that during that week, it was hard for me to control going to the bathroom. It was like constant, constant. So mm -hmm. um, I just went to the emergency room and they did. And then there, it just kind of got worse and the pain was awful. They mm -hmm. gave me morphine, which just drop my blood pressure because I always had low blood pressure and it, it was like awful. And then um, they told me, look, the only way is it, once this happens, then that means is um, nerve damage and you can't, and it's only going to get worse or if you probably won't be able to lift your foot. Um, so would you be willing to do surgery? And then they called um, my spine doctor and they got me in on that Monday. Um, I said yes Ooh, <laughs> to it. And right. Yeah. So I said, yes. And I went because I mean, I, I'm only 40 years old and I have two mm. kids and I'm like, I can't, and, I, and my job, I'm so passionate about helping others. How can I, so I went ahead and did it. Um, the surgery was like five hours and I was four hours in recovery and my spine doctor does things differently. So he works with a vascular doctor. So they cut me up in the front and in the back. So where my C-section was, they cut me up and it took one hour or one hour and a half for him to move all my veins, arteries, wow. and any organs that were there to make room for the spinal doctor to put in the spacer to the front. That was a spacer that goes between L5 and S1. And on the back, then once they did that, another, they closed me up and then they flipped me and then they, they cut me on the back. And the nerves were actually free flowing is what they told me. Like there was, oh, it was all loose. So they, they put everything back, they cleaned it out, they decompressed the nerve, and they added four titanium screws on the back. Ooh. They did a spinal, ah, okay. a spinal fusion on L5. And then when I woke up, <laughs> that was the, the, the moment where I was like, whoa, I was still kind of half asleep because they gave me like Benadryl and that doctor um, didn't believe in giving like strong medications, which, which I was okay. But I will tell you that I thought that I've gone through so many obstacles in my life, but I was like, this is, this was like awful. Like I was like, okay, I got, like I corrected the problem, but am I going to still have this pain? And that was the first time that I've seen my husband get really emotional because since mm. he worked in the hospital, he was able to stay with me. They actually had to kick him out because he was like, he got really emotional because he's never seen me like that. Wow. And then I remember being there for, because I kept saying that I wanted to be turned over to my side because the pain was so bad that laying on the back. And I literally felt like I wasn't the only thing that they, they did. Get, I was even intubated. So I remember having the, mm. the nasal cannula was, getting oxygen yeah. and I'm like, I didn't even, I was kind of out of it. Uh, and then finally, after four hours later, I went up to my room. And I asked the nurse to please, he's like, oh, do you want um, morphine? I'm like, no, I just want my phone. He's like, why do you want your phone? I'm like, because I'm going to put my, I'm going to put neurage, soma breath. And then I put <laughs> your meditation. Exactly. I hit play exactly 11, 11. Wow. And oh my God, when after that, 
I, I, I was like, I couldn't believe how great I felt. And I did the Reiki and that and the Soma, bro. I couldn't believe how great I felt. Like, I, like tears were coming out, but this mm. time it wasn't because of pain. It was because I felt relief. And even then, my, the husband walked back into the room. He's like, he was like, what? You look different, everything. And I even told the nurse, oh, do you think you could stand me up and, and like, I can walk? He's like, are you crazy? Did you realize wow. what kind of surgery? And it was, all, I'm, I know it was because of this breath, because I felt immediate relief without needing those medications. And they too, um, I was able to lift my foot. Uh, so I didn't have nerve damage. So wow. okay. um, they got me up and I walked. I don't know how I did it. I, I just kept doing your soma breath healing um, meditation. Yeah. I kept doing it and I kept visualizing and remembering why I did well, it. The doctor, visualizing my fun. the doctor was very surprised. He actually told me him and the nurse, the nurse even asked me like, what is it that you do? Because nobody wants to get up. Nobody walks. Nobody is, everybody's asking me for pain meds. And I'm the one having to ask you, Oh, what do you want pain wow. meds? And I'm like, no. And He's like, and I told him, I explained that he's like, oh my God, maybe I should try this thing. <laughs> like, so my, I'm like, oh, you should, because it's super powerful and nothing. I just, by day, he, the doctor told me, well, if you continue to do well, then by the third day, you can get discharged. And I did on the, on the day three, I got discharged. And I wow. know that it's all due to the Soma breath meditation that I did. I kept doing it due to the and the Reiki that I combined it with because when I, I had my two children, the second one, I had gotten an infection um, from right. the C-section and I was actually nine days in the hospital. And I never, wow. at that time, I wasn't doing holistic healing. I wasn't doing breath work. I wasn't doing Reiki. I wasn't doing any of that. And I feel like what the, the spinal surgery I had was quadruple worse than what um, I went through. Wow. And I was able to heal fast. And then by um, the third day, I was discharged. I was home and I just kept, I mean, they gave me prescriptions, you know, like for muscle spasms and another medicine, Percocet or something. But I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going to take it because the doctor would tell me, don't be a hero. You know, <laughs> just take the meds. But I'm like, no, because it's like I felt like it, it when I was on it, it just didn't make me feel good. So what um, we did was just, more potent than morphine. It felt yes, exactly. Wow. And not only that, but the breath work um, made me like I was coherent. I wasn't like all oh, drowsy and dizzy. I yeah, didn't have yeah. any side effects, but really inner peace and bliss and like. I felt like more resilient and I didn't have all those um, like anxiety or anything like that, that would, that a situation like this would bring. And then I, I started walking by 40, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Well, I will tell you that by the second week I was walking five miles. And when I went to wow. six, my six week visit to the spine doctor, um, He's like, oh, I didn't have the brace. He's like, oh, you don't need, you don't even need the brace. He took another x-ray and it showed um, that I was uh, even growing new bone. I was growing new bone. Yes. And my, all uh, my, lot. my wounds were, were healed. Like the, the scar, like it was closed completely. Phenomenal. Like it's literally just, yeah. And I attained it to that. And then he's like, when I told him how much he, miles I was walking, he thought I was crazy. He's like, maybe just <laughs> slow down a little bit. He goes, I don't even walk five or five and a half miles, but I felt great. That's incredible. You know? and so, so, so let's just recap on the operation. So you had one operation, then you were supposed to have another thing to fit or was that done as well? That was done all in one time. It was all done in so one time. So that obviously helped. Yes to heal a part of it but what the breath meditation helped was the recovery rapid recovery from the surgery is that right yes the, so the surgery healing, was obviously the... a good success as well yes it was because it helped stabilize that broken like bone that obviously got worse and it helped stabilize the wow. disc but i a feel great and... com complementary treatment to a surgery like that like a very intense surgery the breath meditation is a very complementary 
would you say? Yes, yes, definitely. And not just any, because I think that Soma Breath has all these other things that are different than all yeah. the other breath works that you do that might help, you know, like the, the, the techniques of pranayama or breathing techniques you would learn in yoga. But this is, so it just, it like really What's inspired. What's the different things? What's the difference? What's um, well, uh, I find that when you, um, the breath retentions, breathing in a rhythm, learning how to breathe correctly, because they don't really teach you how to like breathe correctly. Yes. Um, and just knowing like the science or what really, what you're really unlocking inside. I've always loved and been a science-based gal, like incorporating different tools mm. or strategies that are, so this was a perfect fit. And I felt like this is what was different. I've never um, experienced rhythmical breathing in a pattern or breathing mm. correctly. And the breath retention is like, and the, it was truly amazing. And, Just like, and, uh, and the visualization component. All the visualization, a definitely, because I could see it. I was, I was also like, I'm clairvoyant. So I see colors and things mm. like that. So that really helped me. And I, and I felt like the Reiki helped me too, because I got to put it in the areas and, you know, and where I mm. had needed the healing and I would imagine everything that, um, my body healing, my cells regenerating. Yeah. And they even told me that um, because they stretched the nerve, that would take for a whole year. Like now I can, I can do, I can't bend yet. And I couldn't lift up to 20 pounds. Okay. So I've also used, I, when I became a Soma breath instructor, because I got inspired yeah. back in December, I'm like, I want to help other people because people need to know about this because I've never yes. even heard of it. You know, even my doctor, they didn't, oh, you don't know anything about that. And then I got to do the, the breath fit challenge. Yeah. Yes. And that was so amazing because what happens with, with my surgery, I felt like I got more tight, tighter mm. and I was losing range. So when I use the, the certain yoga poses or certain poses with holding the breath yes. retention, my body felt so amazing and relief. That's yes. what I love about like someone because it's like it incorporates everything it's holistic it incorporates so yes. much so i'm very blessed and grateful for so the, what you so, created so according to your doctors then you re you recovered significantly faster than what most yes people do. and even my physical therapist who's a spine um physical therapist so he that's his specialty um he says that he's never seen, he goes, you are, I have to tell you, you are one strong woman. I've never seen anybody so determined or so healing so fast. He even discharged me like um, seven weeks into the PTs. Like you could do this yourself. He goes, you know, you keep doing what you're doing. Beautiful. And he story. had me doing things that the, the, my spine doctor was like, don't do this yet. He's like, wow. please, you could do it. Look at what you're, look at how you are. He goes, you're not, it's not, you're not like the typical case where. That's incredible. That's incredible. So that inspired you to then become a summer breath instructor. Yes, Tell it did. Because... That. How's that working out for you? Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. Cause I've been part of other communities and I love the, the community, but I feel like it's different with the Soma Breath community. It's like so, there's so, you get so much support and education and you're part of all these great, like even mastermind classes. And I'm like, I, I can't, I still can't believe that I'm part of this great community. And, and you know, we have like a group chat too of um, mentors, of instructors. And so yes. everybody's there to support you. And what I've been so impressed about is the, how detailed and educative all the, the modules and everything is in teaching you these techniques because mm. one thing is you're learning something but the other thing is knowing why or the science about it why it works and i'm telling you that even like when my daughter got sick recently um i was talking to the nurse and she was telling me how there's a high rise in anxiety she's even having anxiety and like yeah. she sees her breath so i even kind of educated her and i taught her quickly how to do the breathing she's like oh my god this is so amazing like she didn't she didn't even know about the whole science of it so I was just shocked about that, but that's what I love about Soma. So you get a lot of education, you get a lot of support and it's such a beautiful community. And, you know, yeah, I feel so, like when, when, when I do this meditations and in the group, it's amazing how I can, you can actually feel all the heart coherence or the gratitude or like the love, like, it's like a, I don't know how to say it, like a force feel like, you know, of, of, yeah. 
Beautiful well, people. I want to give you the opportunity, like as you're a Soma Breath instructor based in Miami, if you had a message for people, um, your potential clients that you want to help, people who've been through similar issues like yourself, what would you say? Here's um, your chance. To share yes, <laughs> you got to Yes. Um, know that there, we, along with Western medicine, it's important, but know that there is hope that just because you get a, a diagnosis, it doesn't mean it's the end. Trust me, I've been able to heal from depression, anxiety, trauma, um, the spondylolisthesis, from back pain, chronic pain, just using my breath, Reiki, <laughs> and it's been incredible. And you can too. Um, it's super powerful. And if you tried other techniques, all I can tell you is try this one because you'll be, you'll be in shock of how powerful you can, you can feel better in just having one session. And I am doing like the virtual, I opened up to do a virtual Soma Breath um, meditation awakening classes um, every Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, 6 to 7 p.m. I'm on, on Eastern time, Miami time, but I also have like a website. So if they find me on Instagram or Facebook, you can see yeah. my, you can see all the information and the Soma classes that I do. I also do free um, Soma breath live on the, the techniques, you know? Awesome. So we'll have all the information to get hold of you with your profile page uh, in the description below this video. And uh, I can't wait to see all the testimonials that you're going to create next. Just Thank like you. Yourself. I can't wait to impact. We have to yeah. spread the word and impact the light, love, gratitude, and healing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to doing our big event in, in Miami at some point uh, in the future too. And I'm sure you'll be on stage <laughs> sharing your story <laughs> there. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Cool. This is awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jessica. Yeah. Thank you. I'm really honored. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Much love and positive energy for the rest of your day. And um, if you want to check out more info from Jessica, check out the video description. And you can also find the information on where to get uh, access to our courses and find an instructor near you in that description. All right. Much love. Cheers, Jessica. Bye. Peace. Thank you. Namaste. <laughs> nice.